Welcome to Bootstrap 4 by Example. My name is Sean Wildmuth and I'll be your instructor. If you viewed some of my other courses, you probably are aware of how I like to write courses. This course works in a very similar way. You're going to learn by doing. This course will have very few slides, but lots of examples of me live coding. You can certainly follow along with the course, and you can do this by getting the before and after code here at GitHub Wilderminds Courses BS4 course. This will have before and after versions of the course as well as the lab materials if you decide to do the labs. If you're more comfortable with hands-on labs, the end of each module will consist of a lab that walks you through some of the basics taught in that module. The labs aren't as comprehensive as following along with the videos, but you will get hands-on experience with the technology whether you use the labs or follow along with the course. If you have questions about the course or even individual videos, use the discussions at the end of each section. Each video will have its own discussion as well as each module. I will respond to these questions in these discussions, so leave a comment and I'll do my best to answer as quickly as possible. I can't answer any questions asked outside of these discussion forums, so if you try to reach out to me on Facebook, on Twitter, on LinkedIn, I'm going to point you back at the discussion forums. In teaching this course, I'm going to assume that you already have some familiarity with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. You don't need to be experts in any three of them, but you have to have some familiarity with it. The way I'm teaching this course is it should apply no matter what you're using as the backend for your application, whether that's ASP.NET Web Forms, ASP.NET Core, PHP, whatever. We're going to be dealing purely in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and that should apply no matter where you want to use Bootstrap for. So let's get started with the course.